What's up, poker players? Hope you guys are killing it out on the tables. Had another rough session last night. Got in some really good volume. I was 20 tabling most of the time and pretty much just sitting around even. You can see there was a couple ups and downs. Didn't really get up over two buy-ins and didn't get down below two buy-ins until the very end of the night where I was playing way below equity value. So I hit a couple bad beats that brought me down, but got a lot of interesting spots in this session. Let's take a look at the hands. Biggest loss of the night came with this hand. We have pocket aces against pocket kings. Seems like I've been getting a lot of hands lately where I have the pocket kings against the pocket aces and wind up losing. This time it's the opposite, but I still wind up losing. So I open raise on the cutoff to 3x and get 3 bet by the small blind. The small blind player has 3 bet only premium hands so far. So I 4 bet and I see that he has a 0% fold to 4 bet. Going to be 4 betting here 100% of the time to a player with those type of numbers. And he makes a call. We see a flop of jack high. There's 2450 in the pot. He has 40. He has 40, 39 behind him and leads off for $4. I just make a call here. Don't want to give away too much info on the hand. And this player is already pot committed and I can get the rest of his chips later in the hand. So now there is 32.50 in the pot and the player leads out for 550. Now I think that this board has connected with every premium hand. The ace king now can happily get all the chips in the pot with the king on the board. The only premium hand that we're losing to is pocket kings which this player has. So I decided to raise here and make it three times this player's bet. It's still only half the pot and the player comes back over the top and goes all in. I make the call with the aces and wind up losing that pot. That is a very unlucky turn for us, but I'm not too upset with the way we played it. I'm kind of surprised with this player's uh, bet sizing, but probably still would have wound up the same and all the chips would have gotten in the pot. Just got to move on from that hand and keep playing your game. Can't let it get inside your head and affect the way that you're playing on the tables. This hand would was earlier in the session you can see that our chip stack is smaller than on the last hand and it looks like we're gonna get in a hand with the same player I open raise from middle position with ace king to 3x and we get three bet by the cutoff player who is slugger the, the player that we just got in the hand with and I three bet again this time literally the same play as last time and this player calls with the Queens we have an ace on the flop I slow down and check back this player checks back as well there's 24 75 in the pot. I know this player only three bets with premium hands. There's a good chance that there are kings, queens. We can discount the aces since we want have one in our hand. It's possible. It's possible this player could also have an ace king and be slow playing it. But my guess is that we are probably up against kings or queens. So let's try to make a bet sizing that kings or queens will stick around with. Make it a little bit smaller than half pot. That leaves us 2750 to try to get in on the river too when this player makes a call. And they do make a call there's now 4675 in the pot when we bet 2750 that's going to give really good numbers for this player to call and this player can't get rid of the queens and we wind up doubling up that was a big hand for us it's too bad we just gave it back though here was another big hand that we got in we have ace king in the cutoff open raise to 3x we are sitting at a 100 nl table the button calls and the big blind three bets i see that this player has three bets 50% of the time with premium hands, so plays a pretty polarized range. So I four bet here, and this player calls. We wind up flopping a flush draw, two over cards, and a straight drop. This is a very strong hand, and I bet a little bit less than half pot right here. There's a good chance we are going to be improving on this hand, and we have a lot of the nuts draws. I'm not going to be upset if we pick up this pot right here, and I'm not going to be upset if this player calls, because the chances are we will improve on this hand. But there is also a good chance that this player has queens or jacks within their range. Pocket queens makes the call, and we see a turn of the six of clubs. That does not help our hand out at all. There's now 98.50 in the pot, and we only have 52.50 behind us. This player checks back, and I think that we are almost definitely playing from behind right now. I think best case scenario, this player also has ace king, and we are splitting the pot. So I'm going to try to see a river here and see if we can improve to the nuts so I check back and we completely brick the river nothing gets there this player jams all in again from what we've seen from this player in this hand there's a very good chance this player has a set of jacks a set of queens possibly kings possibly aces and I just can't justify calling here with ace king because I really think that we are beat right here so 
decided to hit the fold button and save that 5250. Let me know what you guys think about this one. Should I have played it differently? Did I play it wrong? Should I have just jammed on the flop? Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section below. I thought this was a really interesting spot and think that there was probably a few different ways that I could have played it. Now we're at the 50 and out table. We have pocket 10s in the small line. Folds around to us. We open raise to 3x and the big blind calls. We wind up flopping top set. The best set. And I lead out for 190. A little bit less than two thirds of the pot. And we get raised. I've got a bit of a history with this player and we've gotten in a few battles a few battles where there's been a couple bluffs and we've both showed down and hands in the blinds when you usually get in a battle aren't too believable a lot of the times so I do raise right here again with the top set of tens thinking that this player could put me on a flush draw could put me on a strong draw and if this player was on the draw and raised me with the draw I don't want this player to see a cheap card here so I think I think the raise here is pretty good and this player jams all in I am never getting away from top set so I'd make the call see that we are set over set great spot for us to be in and we double up right there bit of a cooler on that one here's a fun one under the gun open raises at 3x I just call the pocket jacks a lot of the time a hand that open raises from under the gun is gonna be strong flop is 7-7 seven, seven, deuce rainbow there is 750 in the pot this player leads out for four dollars I just call the turn is a six there's 1550 in the pot now pretty much pot committed with this player's 3180 stack he jams all in i make the call with the jacks see that we are up against aces that was an interesting play from him you'd think he'd try to suck a little bit more chips out of me but it worked out well for him and tell the river thank you jack where did that come from hitting hands like that and still i wind up negative variance throughout that session that's crazy now we're at the 25 nl table we have pocket aces on the button we get an open raise to 4x from the cutoff i see that this player doesn't have a lot of fold to three bets so three bet against this player is going to work out a lot of the time especially with aces if we're going to be thinking about a three bet steal or squeeze here against this type of player it's probably not the best play because they don't steal because they don't fold to three bets very often but when we have value hands this is the type of player that we want to be three betting flop is king high two tone we have a backdoor flush draw there's 685 in the pot i just checked back with the king high board and the turn is an ace there's now two flush draws possibly out there there are two straight draws as well i doubt this player is playing low cards it's maybe suited connectors that could connect with the straight or the flush draws here but i am not going to slow play anymore and i bet 325 and this player makes a call my guess is that there is some kind of draw here or this player has a king when the queen hits on the turn this player checks i know that the spade draw probably didn't hit they probably weren't playing jack 10 that hit the top straight the broadway straight and i think the aces are going to be good here against the majority of this player's range it's probably going to be hands like king queen king jack maybe ace jack maybe ace queen and a lot of those hands we are going to get value from when we bet on the river so i over bet here and jam all in trying to get as much value from those hands as possible since i know that this player most likely doesn't have the broadway and most likely doesn't have the flush and they cannot get away from their two pair and we pick up another big pot right there double up with the top set aces head down to the video description for links to holdem manager america's card room and all the other poker products that i use hit that subscribe button if you guys have not done that yet by subscribing you will make sure that you don't miss out on any of the new videos or the live streams that will be coming out really hope you guys are enjoying and learning from this content i know some of you are i've been getting some good feedback and hearing some good things we've got some players who have done some really good tourney runs been hearing a lot about cash outs in the comment section that's a good sign that means you guys are winning right gotta love that but if you guys are enjoying this content and you do like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up leave your comments in the comment section below when you analyze these hands and think about these hands and express it in writing it's really going to help improve your game so that you can visualize the thought process going through these hands and then you can implement that on your table play thanks for watching poker players be back with a new video soon but until then i'll see you guys out on the virtual felt